Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you what is TS config file and how we can use it in a TypeScript project. So this one is a TypeScript project and we have one TS file, TypeScript file. So if you want to compile this TypeScript file to JavaScript, you need to do npx tsc and you need to give the part of this file then it will create the javascript file for this typescript file but if you have like multiple files then it will take you a lot of time like for each of these files you will have to write this npx tsc command so for that we can create one config file and we can define the folder part where we are keeping all the TypeScript files. To create a config file, you need to use this npx tsc and init. So you can see that it's showing successfully created one ts config.json file. So this is the file it created. And this file is placed at the root of any TypeScript project and we can configure how the TypeScript compiler should work inside this file. So let me create one new folder, source, and let me move this TypeScript file into this source. Now let me create one more folder out. Suppose I want to compile all the TypeScripts that are created inside this source file folder and I want to put the result JavaScript files in this out folder. So I can define it here. So the first one is that you can see that we have like lots of options here and most of them are like commented. And also the meaning of all of these keys are defined here. So this one is target. So it is supporting ES5. So we can also support ES3 or ES2015. Okay, so these are all supported uh, um, versions. Similarly, it is using this common this module. And if you want to add that you want all the TypeScript files from the source folder, you need to use something called include so we can give, add this new key include and here we can pass all the uh, parts of uh, the folders that we want to include for now it's only this source folder and also we can add one exclude here so we don't want all anything inside this node modules folder to compile so we can put this node modules folder here and here you can see that if you search for out then you can see that we have one key here it's called out directory out there so I can give out here so that means that all these files those are in source will be compiled and it will be put to this out directory I can also give the root directory of the input files that this source now it you don't have to write all this npx tsc and the file name you can simply write, use npx tsc so this typescript compiler will check for this one json file in tsconfig.json file in the root folder and it will read that we are defined here and it will place all the javascript file in this out folder let me create one more typescript file here suppose it is example 2.ts and let me add one console.log hello2 now if i run it typescript compiler then you can see that the second javascript file is created here for the first file we had one comment and also this javascript file has this comment if you want to remove it you can define it in this config file so it's called remove comments so if i give it as true then it will remove all the comments now if i go to this 
file then you can see that this comment is removed we can also run the compiler using this watch flag so it will keep watching any files in this so for example we have this hello world 3 if i send it to 10 then you can see that it detect the file changed and also it will compile and regenerate this javascript file so here it descends to 10 so if i give it to 100,000 so you can see that it's uh, automatically compiled and generated uh, javascript file now let me go to this package.json file so here i can create some scripts so let me use these scripts and suppose the dev script will run this tsc now i can just use yarn dev and it will run this script we can also have i uh, can also create like different multiple ts config files so let me suppose i want one more ts config file for my production build so i can in this root folder i can create one new uh, folder broad let me go inside to this broad folder and here again i can create one more tsc file okay so let me copy all this from this tsc file that we created before and let me paste it here so this source it will be the path will be different and no doodles path will be different suppose we want to show all the logs uh, so, uh, sorry all the comments in this this outer tsp file so let me send it to false and for the inner tsp file we have it as true so in the package.json file they will use this outer ts config file that means it will keep all the uh, comments and let me create one more plot and tsc i can give the part of this uh this ts config.json file here so here it is pod ts config.json what so if i run it as plot then it will use this ts config file and if i run it as dev then it will use this config file so let me run it as the prod okay also we need to change the root directory here so it is source and this is out now if i run it again then it will run it it will run this uh, typescript compiler using this prod ts config file so this example we don't uh, we have this this uh this co uh, this comment here for this typescript file and if i see in this out folder okay let it created two javascript files if we did it both okay let me rerun it again yeah so you can see that we don't have this comment in the javascript files and if i use yarn dev it will use this outer ts config file and if you go here then you can see that we have this comment if i move back to plot then it will remove these comments so that's all for now if you have any question please drop one comment below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and please like the video thanks bye